Good morning, Cornerstone Church. My name is Joey. I'm the discipleship minister at Galilee Christian Church. I'm also the host of the Galilee podcast, which I was had the honor of having Fenton uh, on a little while ago. And this is your daily inspirational vitamin. So I want to tell you a quick story, and then I, I want to share a, a verse with you. Um, so recently I heard a story about um, when the British... Uh, were in control of India, they decided they wanted to build a golf course. But they didn't take into consideration the uh, monkey population of India. So they built this golf course, but they continue to have problems with these monkeys running out on the fair lane and grabbing this ball and running off with it. So needless to say, this is pretty frustrating. So they decide what they're going to do is... They're going to get rid of them. So they try capturing them and relocating them, but that doesn't seem to work. They try to uh, actually build walls for some reason, thinking that the monk tr tree climbing monkeys won't uh, climb over. They try eventually just trying to hunt them down, but nothing seemed to be able to keep these monkeys from being a problem. Uh, it became such a problem that the British decided there was really only one answer. So what they did was, is they changed the rules in the rule book. And they changed the rules to say that you have to play the ball wherever the monkey drops it. You have to play the ball wherever the monkey drops it. If there's anything that 2020 can teach us or life can teach us is that it can be at times unfair. And whether we realize it or not, we think we're in a good place and it seems like out of nowhere, all of a sudden we find ourselves in the midst of a sand trap or in the rough or just in a really bad place. It seems like the monkey has dropped the ball in probably the worst place possible. It could be a diagnosis. It could be, you know, you struggled with COVID. Maybe it's a loss of a job. Maybe some of you right now are watching these daily inspirational videos because the monkey has dropped the ball in a really bad place and you don't know what to do. This is why I love to turn to the scriptures. This is why I love reading uh, the Bible because the Bible helps us to put life and ourselves and most importantly, God in his proper place. So um, our church, like many churches, we've committed in 2020 to read through the entire Bible. And as we've read through the Bible, we, we of course read through the book of Psalms. And I thoroughly enjoyed the Psalms. And there was one particular Psalm that I've really enjoyed that I wanna share with you today. And that's Psalm 145. I'm gonna read verses one through five for you. And I specifically want to focus for a second on, on verse 5, but I want you to listen all of verses 1 through 5. Here's what it says. Uh, I will extol you, extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. What a heart, right? I, God, I'm going to bless you and worship you forever. Every day I will bless you and praise your, your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable, right? The God that we worship, his goodness, his faithfulness is unsearchable. We can't fully comprehend or grab it all, right? And then he says, one generation shall commend your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. And then listen to verse five, church. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. Church, I don't, I don't know where the, ball, the monkeys dropped the ball for you. I don't know what life has thrown at you. But I do know that those things can become distracting and they can cover our eyes and they can keep us from seeing really what God is doing. They can keep us from seeing his goodness, his grace, his mercy, his hope, his joy, being able to see through those hard times in order to see the good things that are ahead. 
And I love what the psalmist says. He says, on the glorious, your glorious splendor and your wondrous works, I will meditate. The psalmist says, I, I'm choosing to place my mind on you and what you have done. So today, I want to encourage you to do what the psalmist says. I want to encourage you to focus your attention and your mind on, on God, on His goodness and His grace. Because here's the truth. You and I were lost. We were in desperate need of a Savior. And God sent His Son to die in our place for our sins so that we could be made new. So that we could spend eternity with Him. And all I know is life never promises fairness. In fact, if it wasn't, it was fairness, we'd go, we would deserve to go somewhere other than heaven. But thank God life isn't fair because God decided to show us grace. So wherever the monkey has dropped the ball for you, I pray that today you would meditate on the glorious majesty and the wondrous works of the God that we serve. Have a great day.